Hi, I'm Rebecca Robinson of CPQCC, and I'm here to introduce Baby Monitor, a powerful new reporting tool on CPQCC's NICU website. We already have an awful lot of reports on that site. Why do we need another one? Good question. Baby Monitor allows you to do something new, which is to look at a set of quality indicators, which taken together create a composite metric that indicates overall quality of care in your NICU. And it lets you benchmark that against the entire CPQCC network. Composite indicators take a bunch of measures and put them together into an overall score or ranking like you might see on TripAdvisor for a hotel or Zagat for a restaurant. They let you get an idea of overall quality rather than how a location is doing on individual measures like room cleanliness for a hotel. Dr. Jochen Profit from CPQCC worked with a national panel of experts and clinicians to choose this set of metrics. Each one represents quality of care, and altogether they represent overall quality of care delivery in the NICU. The measures were then aligned so a positive outcome resulted in a higher score. For example, you want positive outcomes for any human milk at discharge, but not for in-hospital mortality. So in-hospital mortality was changed to survival. Each individual measure was risk adjusted and VLBW or very low birth weight infant standardized to the overall CPQCC population. Here's a streamlined version of the baby monitor plot. It's called a spider web plot, but we'll take a look at that in a second. Up here at the top, it's showing a composite score of 72. Now keep in mind, this is a ranking among all the NICUs in California. It's not a letter grade. So this demo NICU is in the 72nd percentile among California NICUs, which is almost in the top quartile. Right now, the graph is only showing the CPQCC reference population for the entire CPQCC network. It's standardized to the 50th percentile, about halfway out from the zero point at the center, because if you take all the possible rankings between zero and 100, they average out to about 50. You'll notice that the metrics that we just saw are distributed around the edge of the graph. Higher scores are going to be further out and lower scores will be closer to the center. Here are the scores for an individual NICU overlaid on the scores for the entire network. The individual NICU scores are in red. You can see that a number of them are closer to the edge than the network scores, which means that they're higher than the average for the entire network, or maybe doing better than expected. The score for not cold, however, is closer to the center, which means that it's below the average for the network. That may mean that this NICU has a quality improvement opportunity in the area of making sure that babies aren't hypothermic on admission to the NICU. Let's take a look at this graph. You'll notice that this NICU has a couple of points on which they are performing better than the network average but they have a few points on which they're not performing as well as the network average. So what does that mean? Should they do individual quality improvement projects on each of these areas? Maybe, but it might also indicate that they have underlying systems issues that could be affecting quality of care in a number of areas. Limited staffing, for example, burnout, leadership, or hospital culture. Each NICU knows their own challenges best, and we're not here to tell them what to do. But this might provide a good starting point for further inquiry. Now this plot has some new information. You'll notice that human milk nutrition, in this case, has a higher ranking than expected, and it's written in green. That means that the ranking is higher than expected in a statistically significant way. Let's click on it and see more. So we've arrived at one of those familiar caterpillar plots that you've seen before. This represents how the demo NICU is doing against all regional NICUs in the area of human milk nutrition. Each dot represents one regional NICU and the vertical whiskers represent the 95% confidence interval for all of the values for that NICU. The Z-score line, which starts in red on the left and shades to green on the right, representing better performance as you go to the right, shows the expected performance based on this population. This vertical line in red represents our demo center. You notice that 
it's well above the expected score line, so our NICU here is doing pretty well. The NICUs on the far left, on the other hand, you'll notice that all of their scores are below the Z-score line, so they may have some quality improvement opportunities in the area of human milk nutrition. To return to the baby monitor plot, we simply click the X on the right side of the screen. Now let's click on Not Cold, which you'll notice is in red, and the percentile ranking for it is much lower. In this case, our demo NICU, represented in red, is on the far left of the plot, and all of its values are well below the Z-score line, so that means they probably have some real quality improvement opportunities in the area of hypothermia on admission. So now that you've seen a little bit of Baby Monitor, what's next? Well, there are some things you can do. You'll notice that this chart is a five-year chart. You can also compare values over a three-year chart. You can look at all of the infants in your NICU, or the, only those who are inborn or outborn. You also have the opportunity to compare your NICU against other groups, not just the CPQCC network. In this case, I'll show you how to compare against regional NICUs. Click the menu icon to save your chart, print it, or download it as an image file. You can also click the information button to get more technical documentation on Baby Monitor and how the composite score is calculated. You can also take a look at some of the many other reports that CPQCC provides on the NICU reports website. For example, the control charts. One thing to know is that Baby Monitor is intended to provide a very long-term view of quality of care in your NICU. So if you have recent improvements, you may see those show up much earlier in other reports, and they may take more time to be represented in Baby Monitor. And you can also always contact CPQCC. File a help ticket. Our expert clinicians and biostatisticians are always happy to chat with members about data, reports, and anything else that could possibly be helpful to you. Thank you very much for your time today, and I hope this has been useful.